Hey, welcome to this radio channel and this is probably one of the videos that a lot of you have been uh, asking and will watch because it uh, is the main problem with HDSDR. If you want to use HDSDR with your RTL software defined radio dongle. So here I'm doing the test with my soft 66 RTL. You need a file that is the EXTIO DLL, which is the uh, the DLL file for the input output of RTL dongles. Now, that's probably the most complex thing about the setup. It's not that easy to find because there are like a million versions out there, and you got to make sure that you got the version for your device. So, if your device and a lot of them out there are based on the RTL 2832U and pretty much all the dongles that I've shown you and that I've talked about are all based on that you need a DLL that I'll post the link in the description below the video so if you want to have that little EXT IO DLL file you'll have to click the link it's gonna download directly to your computer that's the first step once it's downloaded you need to also get it and it's here it goes in my downloads if I go into my downloads, there is a file called called ext right here ext art iortl.dll. That's the one you want. That's what you'll download basically if you click the link that I've posted below the video. And once you have that file, what you want to do is right click copy it and once you've copied it you need to go into your C drive on Windows go into program files x86 go to the HDSDR folder and right click and here you have a paste option I haven't copied it because it's already here but you'll have the paste option you just drop it here so that it shows in the settings with the other files of HDSDR. Once you've done that, you're now really close to using HDSDR for shortwave. The last thing you'll need to know, what's the offset of your dongle? Every type of dongle that I've used has an offset that is different. So for shortwave, the Soft 66, for example, has 50 megahertz it's an up converter because it's two parts the HF and VHF portions are kind of two receivers and one will up convert the signal so the shortwave will send the signal to a frequency the dongle can use so for the soft 66 is 50 megahertz you need to know that frequency offset for your own dongle if you have a different one than the soft 66 that I use uh, some have 100 megahertz some are 70 megahertz uh, the DX patrol I think is 40 megahertz so depending on what you have, you need to know it. What you'll need to do is just start the HDSDR software. You'll notice that when you start it, it's not going to give you any error messages. It's not going to ask you anything because it knows that the uh, dongle is there. You'll need to go into the options on the bottom left. And here, go into RF front end and calibration. You'll put that little dot here in SDR hardware on down up converter. And for my soft 66, it's 50 megahertz, which is 50 million hertz. So five zero 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 zero. 50 megahertz up converter. And when you want to use shortwave, you have to leave the dot here at up converter for the offset. If your offset is 100 megahertz, then it's 100 million Hertz so put the correct offset click the apply button once you've done that you can now start the and technically you should have reception of shortwave uh, with your specific dongle so here um, let me try I haven't put a little more RF here it goes so let's uh, 
check it out here with a signal that might be there 13845 So now I've got shortwave reception thanks to the dongle. We are not totally off the hook yet. That's the first step. The first step is that now you've got a um, you've got a dongle that works. You've got shortwave reception, but you'll see there's another video I'm going to post, and you'll have to do a little calibration because each dongle, each RTL device has an offset. It's a little off in frequency by nature. It also drifts, the Soft 66 for example, drifts a little bit. So um, I'm going to show you how to set the basic odds, uh, offset so that you can actually tune the signals. So that's what you need to do to have HDSDR working. Click the link in the description below the video to get your DLL file. Just drop it in the HDSDR folder and you're off to go once you put the offset like I just showed you. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. We have tons of live shows also here. And uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Thank you for watching and hope you'll have a good SDR with HD SDR.